Hey everybody, Senator Menard here. Um, it's Wednesday morning in the state capitol. Um, I have with me today uh, Ryan Pogenpol, who is a junior at uh, Raymond Lincolnwood High School. Welcome, Ryan, uh, to the state capitol. This is the second time uh, Ryan has visited me here in Springfield. Um, beyond Ryan today, uh, our goal this year is to have students from every high school in the 48th Senate District uh, visit uh, with me in Springfield and spend a day. Uh, that's important to me. Vince DiMuzio, about 25 years ago, um, invited me to spend a day with him in the state capitol. And that, of course, uh, set me on a, a track that I would argue um, helped me get here today. So, Ryan, welcome uh, to the capitol. Um, you know I live in a small town. You know I live in Bunker Hill. Yes. Uh, you live in Raymond. Yes. Uh, so tell, tell me a little bit about growing up in a small town. Uh, well, it's a town of 950 people. and. Everybody knows everybody, and it's just a great community where you don't have to go far for help from anybody, and I couldn't think of anywhere else I'd want to be. I say that all the time. I've, uh, you know, my kids walk into the same school uh, that I walked into growing up uh, every day, and you know, to me, that's meaningful. Um, when I was uh, your age, I was involved in quite a bit, um, not just in high school, but beyond high school. Um, you're involved in a group called the Lincolnwood Community Service Organization. Vice President, right? Yes, Tell me a little bit about it. Well, we organize local events around the area and we help give food to the local food pantry and we like help with blood drives and just anything we can to make the community life better. That's good. That's good. Um, I'm also told, I didn't know this about you. Um, actually, the last time, last time I saw Ryan, was at a uh, veterans. Um, uh, it was a it was a breakfast yes. at at uh, Lincolnwood High School to honor veterans. Very well done, by the way. A very good program. Um, but I didn't know you were also uh, help with the fire department. Yes. Yeah. You actually go on calls. Uh, yes, we do actually, and we just do it to uh, help kind of get us uh, exposed to what fire department life is like and how. Uh, I don't know how we can better our leadership skills with pretty much on the job training, although we're not involved at all with the uh, actual calls mm -hmm. or can't help, but we are just there to observe and help the firefighters in whatever way we can. You know, a lot of my, um, a lot of my colleagues from uh, the other side of the state, um, it's, a, it's kind of a new concept or a different concept for them. Uh, and one thing I have to do is explain how important volunteer fire departments are especially in rural communities. So um, I'm glad at a young age that there's young people involved um, in the fire department. So last question. Um, I know you have plans for uh, post high school. Uh, you're a junior this year. Yes. You got one more year to go. Uh, what are your plans after, after graduation? My plan is to attend the United States Naval Academy. And the reason I want to attend the Naval Academy is because I want to be a leader for this country. And I believe the Naval Academy is the best college that will do that for me because it's so hard while you're there. I believe that uh, while once I'm out of there that I'll be able to rely on the experiences I had in there to help me excel in life. That's great. Um, you told me that two years ago, I think for the first time. Um, so I'm glad you're sticking to it and uh, my compliments to you. So uh, we're going to get our day started. Um, the Senate's going to be in session um, in a few minutes. I'm going to take Ryan to the Senate Labor Committee, uh, check back next week, and we'll have another student from the 48th District. Thanks for joining us today.